Inquisitor. Of course, Durin's theory of high dragon behavior is absurd, but... Oh, yes? Did you need something? My people have translated that to Winter Manuscript. <gasps> Studies on dragon hunting patterns? Migrations? Ha! <laughs> Durin's theory that dragons can't see the color blue is refuted. With those dreadful raiders out of the way, we can finally lure out the abyssal high dragon. You should have the honor, my friend. I've made note of the appropriate spots in the wastes for you to place lures. Place this bait, and then... wait. <laughs> it will be a momentous achievement in Draconology. I'm off to plant the bait for the High Dragon. I cannot wait to hear your observations. You must make note of how she circles the hunting area. We'll have to speak some other time. An impressive creature. There is a purity in such undiluted power.
What was that? Oh, my fellow researcher. What can I do for you? The High Dragon attacked me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's dead. She attacked? How wonderful! You had a first-hand view of her behavior. Did you take any notes on her aggressive posturing? I suppose you would tell. <laughs> no matter. I should very much like to interview you. Uh, at a later time, of course. I could join your Inquisition. My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other specimens. Certainly. I'm sure the Inquisition could use a Draconologist. Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you. Inquisitor, if you have a moment. What is it? Could prove useful, sir.
All right. Our, Kunar Our contact should be here to meet us. He is. Good to see. Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat. Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this venatory cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose the Heron and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well, if the Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half-dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes, but it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. But... I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before... takes over the battlefield. 
He'll be dead before he knows it. Just... pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! Gave your charges the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, my agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kyun for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. see any tattoos, but you're carrying a staff. Are you from a Chantry Circle? No, and I would prefer not to discuss it. Have I done something to offend you? You joined the Kune? After they rescued me from slavery. And put you into something worse. A slave may always struggle for freedom, but you among the Kune have been taught not to think. Solace, not the time. Get ready. We're close. We're clear, we're clear, Gat.
Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. The Chargers can't stand against that kind of force. No, they can't. They do that. They're dead. They're my men. Call the retreat. They are falling back. I regret that we couldn't protect the Dreadnought. No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bo, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. Come on, let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. I never meant to turn you against your people, Bo. I'm the one who blew the horn. On my orders. Boss, 
Let me have this one, all right? This one needs to be mine. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. How did the Chargers come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the Chargers tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. 